The struggle is real when you only have 10 fingers and you release a 12 piece collection. If you're mad at me, if you are personally offended, violated, hurt, traumatized by my actions, choosing a hot pink tourmaline over an oval, I wanna say that I'm sorry. I'm such a birthday brat, but I'm also not sorry. I got you a present. It's called relax. It's gonna be okay. It's the battle of the birthdays. <laughs> Welcome to my birthday party. Today we are launching the new Hollow Taco Birthstone Collection, which is our biggest collection ever of 12 specialty polishes, all different formulas meant to match each month's birthstone. So there's one for every month. You get a birthstone, you get a birthstone, you get a birthstone. Well, we also picked what birthstone because some months have more than one birthstone. Feel free to fight about it in the chat. We are also launching a new scented nail oil. It's vanilla cake. It will be limited edition. Can you eat it? No. Melon, no. I can't fit it all in my camera. I can't zoom out, guys. What am I gonna do? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And they all come in custom limited edition birthstone theme cartons. There is no collection box. We just thought the box would be like ridiculous and way too big. Shout out to our creative director slash art artist right here who made this absolutely stunning. I think one of the prettiest collectible boxes we've ever come out with. I just love the addition, like look, it's like jewelry on a box. It's the battle of the birthdays. So we're gonna see which of these shades sell the best and we're gonna make our best effort to restock some of them. Yeah, so show some support for your birth month and if you hate your birthstone, well, you know, just pretend you were born sometime else. It's not that deep. Or is it? Because I picked hot pink for October. I'm such a birthday brat. Another caveat, uh, pigments. Pigments are a little bitch sometimes, just a little. So we will do our best, but some of these, you know, simply said she wanted the rare shit. And uh, I did this to myself, so. What are you guys most excited about? Are you excited for your birth month or like others? Cause you're allowed to like other birth months. Everything pink, October. They all look delicious. Don't eat it or the nail oil. Oh, do you like my outfit? What do you think? Look at this fish in it. I could catch a lot of shrimp with that. All right, is it live? Battle of the birthdays. Order confirmed, let's go. The Hollow Taco new limited edition birthstone collection. And we've got vanilla cake nail oil. Look at that cake. And I don't mean Ben's nail, I mean the cake. In order, January to December stones. We've got Gosh Garnet, Crystal Mommy, Happily Ever Aqua, Ryder Diamond, Emerald City, The Price is Alexandrite, Do -do 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 -do. Ruby Madly Deeply, Para don't bother me. Playing with Sapphire. Birthday brat, that's me. Topaz tears and Tanzanite away, which is reflective. What are you ordering? 4% said just my birthstone. 36% said a couple shades, so I'm gonna pick and choose. 47% said, give me all 12. What is this? It's like the infinity stones. You, you gotta collect them all. Maybe I'm biased, but I do think this is our this is one of our most exquisite collections yet. For a long time, I've had an idea to do gemstones. And you might've seen this in the past, okay, detectives? However, just like milling over it, I was like, I don't know, I, I feel like it's not interesting enough, just gemstones. But then it hit me. I was like, what if it was birthstones? Because birthstones gives you a creative inspiration palette to choose from, a reason behind each shade and things that lend to the development and the formula of each polish. Cause I didn't want to do the same formula across all of them. So shout out to the Holo Taco team, everyone from product development to the creative team who just brought this all together. I feel like everything landed so well. I'm so proud of it. Guys, the video is still premiering because it is like 12 minutes long. <laughs> Look, there's it's chatception. Introducing our limited edition birthstone collection. The best selling B-Days get restocked. So choose wisely because no birthday bash is complete without some cake. We got you some vanilla cake scented nail oil. And this comes in the pen if you wanna get like a fresh new pen with one cartridge or a two pack refill pack. So you can get either. So you could put it in your existing pen. Warm and cozy vanilla sugar cake. Kind of like vanilla cake is what it smells like. 
And there's a little bit of notes of caramel. The key ingredients of jojoba oil, vitamin E, and some squalane, all of which are really good ingredients to hydrate the nail plate. Simply, how do you have such strong, long nails? Well, nail oil three times a day. January, gosh garnet, a deep garnet burgundy shimmering metallic. It's got a subtle red bronze shift and it's very sophisticated. This one's very full coverage, I find. Like I, th I feel like two coats and it's done, it's good. There's two red stones, right? There's garnet for January and then there's ruby for July. One challenge that we had that I wanted to make sure that what we came up with felt so different because they're both red. So we decided to take Garnet to the very deep, dark level and make it super sophisticated. Like this isn't technically a multi-chrome, it's more of a shimmering, small metallic pigment. At the angle, you are gonna see a bit of a bronze shift, but its dominant color is like a very deep burgundy. And here it is in different lighting. Okay, this is key. It, indoor spotlight, which is just my kitchen lighting, which is very bright. Outdoor shade. You don't really see the shimmer in the shade, but it looks so vampire-ish. I just love it. It's like glowing. iPhone flash, you're gonna get that pop of the metallic shimmer where the flash flare is. And then outdoor sunlight is questionable in Canada. Sometimes it was more sunny than others. It's a really good fall shade, like such a good classic fall shade. Next up, we've got crystal mommy. You know, everyone has a crystal mommy in their life. This one is based on the amethyst it's a crushed hollow formula is but it's also got scattered hollow and pink micro shimmer she's got dimension and she wards off bad vibes look at that look at that giant gem i held don't laugh this is a really good prop okay this looks like uncut gems so look at that okay really see the shimmer picks up in different lighting and so does the scattered hollow, which is a different type of hollow pigment than a crushed hollow. Next up, happily ever aqua for March, which is also Ben's birthstone. It's a pale aquamarine linear hollow with added cyan shimmer. So think toe beans, but boy, okay? If you put toe beans, and happily ever aqua together, it's like a gender reveal. But this one is just so serene, so princessy, so subtle. It's right in between blue and green. She's so pretty. She has pretty privilege. Look at Ban. I literally filmed this live with chat. Do we love this shade? <laughs> Linear Hollow is one of our classic fan favorite formulas. But this one has added cyan shimmer in it, which really pops in the shade. Just gives it a bit more of an exquisite, subtle, pretty gemstone look. I heard someone say that this is a good like wedding shade too. If your color happens to be more of an aquamarine. Happily ever aqua, happily ever after. Next up, we've got April Stone Rider Diamond. It was inspired by the diamond, but this isn't just silver. This is our most extra holographic polish we've ever made in pure hollow. We've got scattered hollow, linear hollow, holographic flakes, holographic glitters, and silver reflective glitters. Did you count? That's five different pigments, which is ridiculous. I literally said, give me every type of hollow and put it in a bottle, thank you. Look, look at it! This is reflective flash, which means a light source that's super close to your eye or your camera lens. Okay, forget jewelry, forget diamond rings, just paint your nails in Ryder Diamond. Like you lose the hollow in the shade, but the combination of like those five different pigments, it kind of looks like snow, it's really pretty. Next up, we got May, Emerald City. This is a cool emerald green iridescent flake polish. Emerald green jelly base. It's also got scattered hollow and it has wickedly deep intentions, okay? It's buildable because it's a jelly base, greenish to tealish flakes packed in it to give you that multi-dimensional emerald stone effect. Went back and forth with different prototypes on what to do here for emerald, but honestly landing on the flakes gave it such depth and dimension to play with that just suited the emerald vibes. And I'm so excited the way it turned out. It's a cooler green. Iridescent flake polishes look so stunning in the shade because the shade allows you to remove the light source. You, you remove the like refraction of the light spot and you can see the outline of the flakes. So when you're in the shade, a flake polish actually looks more like exquisite and has more dimension. I love how May turned out. Next up, we've got June. What is that bottle? What is that stone? June has many birthstones. I know you guys, you have pearls and moonstones and whatever, but you also have Alexandrite, which apparently is one of the most expensive stones out there, like along with diamonds. 
And when I saw that it was actually a shifting stone, like it changes colors, it changes from teal to purple, I decided I loved the challenge. I was like, you know what? That's a fucking beautiful stone. I want it on my nails. How do we make this? This is a teal to purple multichrome, but it's also got purple foil flakes in it and scattered hollow which comes out in different lighting. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put two to three thin coats to build it up nice, to keep it nice and slick. Look at that shift! Uh! Teal is the dominant color. And then on the angle, you're gonna get that purple. I was inspired by this one. I just thought it was more fun to do than a pearl. So sorry, you know. The team deserves all the credit. The price is Alexandrite. Actually, the price is $14, which is pretty good. Next up, July, Ruby Madly Deeply. So July's birthstone is a ruby, and we wanted to make this one distinct from Gosh Garnet January shade. So we went with a super bright, juicy ruby red. So it's got our bright red, our classic hollow glitters to really make it super blingy. So this one is gonna read like a glitter from afar. It's like ruby red slippers. Because glitter polish dries down slightly textured, even with one coat of top coat, you can, optional, let that first coat of glossy taco dry and then add a second coat, just to smooth it out a little bit more because glitter will eat a little bit of the top coat. If you don't like removing glitter because you think it's hard to take off, try Peely Base, which is our peel off base coat. That's what I'm wearing. So I can pop this off. Next up, we've got August, which I know so many August babies hate their birthstone. Para, don't bother me about how ugly you think your birthstone is, okay? Because we're gonna make it look good. This is Peridot Lime Green Shimmer Polish. Yellow green is shift, but it's also got green reflective glitters. This one has brat energy, <laughs> obviously. And that's kind of a coincidence because, you know, we were developing this for a year and Charlie XCX decided to make lime green popular. But here we've got regular light, super shimmery. Then when you pop on that reflective flash, and you go a little bit into the darkness, you're gonna see tiny green reflective pigments light up like a stop sign at night, but they're green. This is like the most complicated lime green I think you could ever make. Like full charge, you know, walked. So para don't bother me could run. You're gonna wanna build this one up in three thin coats I would recommend because that allows the shimmers to layer on top of each other and more reflective pigments to land on the nail. She is absolutely stunning. I expect to not see her at the bottom of the list for sales. Thank you very much. Yes. Next up, we've got September Shade playing with Sapphire. So a traditional deep blue Sapphire inspired shade, but this one's got smaller to medium iridescent flakes. When you make the pigment particles like in the iridescent uh, unicorn skin family smaller and more dense, it actually creates somewhat of a glowing effect from afar once you've layered on the three coats, okay? So trust, build this one up, get the most dimension in two to three layers, add that glossy taco, and then it looks like it's like shiny. It looks like it's glowing from the bottom of the ocean. Am I right? It also has scattered hollow. Look, she like glows in the spotlight, but also in the shade. How did we do that? Well, I just gave you the answer. It was the pigment size formulation. There's a big fight. There's been a fight for decades. There's been pink tourmaline and opal for as long as I can remember. I was confusion being given a burst stone that was pink, being given an opal. Like what, which one is it? The answer is it's both or it's whatever the manufacturer of whatever being sold decides. I am such a birthday brat that I said, give me hot pink tourmaline and not just like any pink tourmaline, but like I want the hottest one and it's my birthday. So I'll do what I want. Birthday brat. She is a frosted metal, super hot pink tourmaline inspired frosted metal. She's got silver and rose gold metallic foil flakes, which is what puts her in the frosted metal category, but in a hot pink jelly base. Also got iridescent flakes, AKA unicorn skin and scattered hollow because simply was being really extra. And like most frosted metals, you do need to see them in person to appreciate them. See how the light is refracting in like such a beautiful way and you can tell it's really shiny, right? But you don't necessarily see that in an application up close, really good camera video. That's because my really good camera is showing you the pigment detail. But when you step back, 
it really does give only when it's in person. I don't know what it, what it has against cameras. It is very shy, I suppose. She does what she wants because it's her birthday. She cries if she wants to because it's her birthday. She gets a hot pink controversial frosted medal for her birthstone because it's her birthday. I'm accepting essays about which birthstone is correct for October in uh, Simply React in the Discord. I, uh, I won't be reading it. In the shade, frosted medals really do show you that, like shiny impact but in the other lighting it looks so hot pink we don't have anything like this you know and the like rich hot pink next up november november babies i know you have struggled your entire life with this like what is this is this p is this p these were your options citrine or topaz like they kind of look the same i didn't want to give you a piss stone because I knew no one would buy it. I went with the smoky dark topaz version. It's kind of more like this, okay? So I took my creative liberties and instead I brought you this dark antique yellow topaz inspired shade. It's got a cool smoked brown jelly base but it's also got green gold iridescent flakes, bronze shimmer, gold scattered hollow. And if you don't like it, you can cry as a river with your topaz tears. This one is packed though. Like look how packed she is, okay? If this is the color of your piece, something's wrong. It does look like antique kind of like olive brass kind of thing. It's vintage. We have arrived. We've got December's shade. Also has some debate. Why are there four, bruh? What would make the coolest nail polish that is also different enough from the rest of the collection and our assortment. So this isn't just about you, December, okay? It's about everyone else and peace and harmony across the whole world. I went with Tanzanite because that is the most beautiful indigo blue, but sometimes purple. It's just so vibrant and saturated in color. Tanzanite inspired shimmer with a royal indigo jelly base. This is a buildable shade as well. So you're gonna wanna do two to three coats but it's got a pop of red magenta micro shimmer that gives it a very unique warmth. And it's also got scattered hollow and blue reflective glitter. Reflective glitter polish will dry down slightly textured. Just wanted to add in that extra tutorial that you can add a second coat of glossy taco if you want it to be a little bit smoother. Don't make fun of the tiny stone, okay? I only had one tiny tanzanite. I don't wanna hear any complaints. I tried. Okay, regular light. It looks mostly Purple. Reflective flash, what? That's where you see the royal blue. It's giving orange. Shut up, detectives. Yes, these are the same polish. Yes, it is very pretty. Oh my Lord. All right, which month do you wish you were born in? Which month do you wish you were born in? My month, I win. Wow, 63% of you are like, I have the best month. I love that confidence. That's great, love that for you. 37% wish they were born any other month. But you know what? is the nice part here is like, you don't have to wear your birthstone because it doesn't matter. Let's do the mood board. Birthstones is something that I remember growing up with. Does anyone remember these? Oh my God, I forgot about those, right? Okay, as a millennial growing up, like for some reason our parents thought we wanted this. So we were all wearing our birthstones. So did you get gifted birthstone stuff growing up? 68% of you said yes. Here's the mood board for the Hollow Taco limited edition birthstone collection. It's the battle of the birthdays. You know, our creative director made this mood board for me. She helped out. And uh, I think I see Taylor Swift in more than one month. Uh-huh, Taylor Swift, uh-huh, I see. I see my team really can't help themselves, can they? I got some data coming in. We've got the top three best-selling shades, and they are, in no particular order, The Price is Alexandrite, December also in the top three with Tanzanite Away, and then also in the top three is Emerald City. Wow, that's so interesting. Hello, what about October? Hello? How dare you? And the bottom three, Topaz Tears. November, I tried so hard. We've got August. I thought it was Brat Summer. The last one, July Ruby. What, hello? Bright red glitter. Is it because it's a glitter? See, there's some customers who just don't understand that they can peel off their nails or they don't like peeling their nails. And so they don't like glitter, yeah. Different people are different stoners. What? Hold on, I've got a ban. It's okay, children. Are mom and dad fighting? No, we're not fighting. NDAs, I know. It looks like we are gonna sell out. Don't cry, I know. I normally recently haven't had to 
to deliver this news while I'm live and I prefer not to because I don't want to cause people stress and whatever and blah, blah 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 but it looks like there's at least one maybe a couple shades that are like gonna go while I'm still here live with you which is very surprising because we made a big birthday batch you know so I thought I also we also thought that people would maybe be a bit more selective just because there were so many uh, and I apologize in advance to everyone watching this on VOD who missed out there is no guarantee we will be able to bring the ones that sell out back but I know the team's gonna work on it and I don't have an answer right now about whether we can or when and it sounds so dramatic like someone died okay nobody died I know you guys always show up for every lunch and you're always so supportive and excited and you just love everything and and I'm always so overwhelmed and grateful and thankful and but I'm just so specifically proud and happy that people love this one this much and this many and are seeing our vision up. I'm a sock but I don't have one and uh when it sells out, I'll be here. You'll have to check with me next week. Opal versus pink tourmaline, okay? Let's do a poll. Did I make the right choice? And the answer is yes or yes. So if you're mad at me, if you are personally offended, violated, hurt, traumatized by my actions as a fellow October baby, choosing a hot pink frosted metal pink tourmaline over an opal, I wanna say that I'm sorry, I'm such a birthday brat, but I'm also not sorry, but I'm gonna make it up to you because I made you some opal combos. I got you a present. It's called relax, it's gonna be okay. Here's how to make an opal polish with your existing hollow taco polishes. Here's another point I wanna make. Uh, you can't make a pink frosted metal, but an opal is just more flexible and open to interpretation of layering. Crumbs, not milky white, ivory tower. If you want a little more vintage opal, use ivory tower. And you want to keep it simple, just add a unicorn skin, use not milky way. This one is Sonic plus lunar unicorn skin over top of not milky white. Right beside it is solar unicorn skin alone over not milky way. Done, easy, done. Ivory tower. So the first one is ET everything taco. Everyone phone home for that. Second one is solar unicorn skin and galactic unicorn skin which is a little more subtle. So that's the easy way. Creme plus unicorn skin, done. It's not the same. Okay, you want advanced combos? Okay, 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 fine. You're so fancy, I know. So here's some options of our existing polishes that I think can get you to that look paired with unicorn skins. You see these? These are unicorn skins. This is the key to making an opal polish. The first one in each duo has the unicorn skin on top of the specialty polish. The second one, these two, has the specialty polish as the finishing coat. So you're seeing the unicorn skin from underneath, like a unicorn skin sandwich. Just a thin coat at the end. Let's move forward. So if you wanna go a bit grayer, a bit cooler undertone, is featured guest for this block right here. This one has galactic unicorn skin over top, and this one has solar and cosmic unicorn skin underneath the final coat, okay? Then we've got Got Cake. It's kind of like a wild party no matter what you do. This one I did Cosmic Unicorn Skin and this one I did Solar Unicorn Skin. So you get those tiny little flashes of the red, reddish orange, which I do think is kind of like key. The opal is opaling. And then I also have this, which includes a specialty polish that has a question mark. Uh, this is Lunar and Sonic on top of said specialty polish. And this is Solar underneath one thin coat of it so i don't know i mean like now did i make the right choice what does the poll say did i make the right choice for october 59 percent said yes 41 percent still think i made the wrong choice after all of this convincing i still don't have your vote don't make me cry <laughs> how many answered before the demo yeah undo your votes recount recount the bundle is sold out no i was hoping this wouldn't happen all right it's official, the Burstone collection is sold out. Who did it? Who did it? Price is Alexandra, it says notify me. No! June was the first to go. I don't know if off the bat I would have thought you would have been a winner, but early data, as we spoke about like two hours ago, you were already in the top three. So, all right. Congratulations to June babies. Good thing we didn't pick Pearl. And I am also seeing that the others among the top three are not far behind. 
What? Recount, did I make the right choice for October? 79% now say have revised their vote to yes to Hot Pink Frosty. Thank you. All right, Hollow Taco detectives, what did you do this time? Shouts out to them in the Discord. You can go to uh, our Discord server if you want to join, it's free. Simply Snapchat stories, nail or cartridge. How did you know this from April? You clocked me. Oh, that's something else. No, that's something else. That is Tanzanite away. <laughs> what is this? Beautiful summary board. Uh-oh, did we just sell out something else? What's happening? Oh no. Goodbye, Tanzanite away. She really Tanzanite it away, didn't she? I'm gonna talk with the team over the next couple weeks while they talk to pigment suppliers and operation to figure out what we can do. You guys are wild. You have surpassed our expectations. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.